here we are now in Portsmouth, New Hampshire at the next EV event. You see one mini off here to the right. Two thousand eighteen Nissan Leaf next to my two thousand seventeen Nissan Leaf. And over here you have some Teslas, some Hondas. That's what I need. I need something I can just park, leave it for weeks. You've got to have the Teslas. Then I come here and you jump three quarters of a mile. And everyone that says that they're anti Bunch of little exhibits. Chevy Bolt. Some. Toyotas and Hondas. Miniature Tesla. Center, but I'm also the proud owner of that Clarity over 
there, and I want to say I am charged up and ready to go, huh? <laughs> and it's great to see all these, uh, all these vehicles out there. I think we're really seeing the future today. Uh, people who are the early adopters and understanding this is the revolution that's coming and this is possible. And I think it's so um, important for the city of Portsmouth, the oldest city, sure, maybe Dover too, but you know, here it is, a city known for its history, but it's always looked to the future. It's always looked to new technologies, whether it's the Portsmouth Steam Factory, whether it was the Albacore and the shipyard, or now Medtronics and all the high tech infrastructure that's building up around here, because that's where the jobs are, and that's where the future is. I've really been concerned as a member of the Senate Transportation that New Hampshire be ready. You know, that we can take advantage of this and that people will see that electric vehicles are the future and infrastructure is here for us. We've got to save our planet, too. Climate rally in Portsmouth yesterday, yes! Yeah. Right? But here it is, here it is, America's little affair with the automobile isn't going to turn into a divorce, so we better get some new cars. That's what this is about. But I also think we're seeing here a much larger, larger revolution taking place. It's not just that we're going to have electric vehicles. It's the whole infrastructure here. It's the battery storage. It's utility scale storage. It makes possible solar and wind power, electrification of our systems, replace carbon fuel so we really can have a carbon free future. It also means micro distribution. The people, because of the batteries in their cars or in their neighborhoods, will be freed from the grid. The power that comes into these cars can flow back out at peak demand time. We're going to have to build another peak power plant, peak demand power plant in New Hampshire if we adopt this technology. So that's where we need to be. This is why I introduced Senate Bill 517 to set up an electric vehicle uh, charging infrastructure station uh, infrastructure commission and we are just in our first meeting a couple weeks ago we're going to look at building out the electric vehicle charging infrastructure for the whole state we're going to start with the transportation corridors you're going to be able to go up 93 89 if you're a tourist you're going to get 101 you're going to get 95 you're going to get route 16 up through rochester we have volkswagen settlement money but i want to say the utilities eversource unitil Liberty, New Hampshire Electric Cooperative, they are ready to invest their money in this infrastructure because they see this is what we need to do for a healthy environment. So, remember today, you see all these vehicles? Man, I want some of these vehicles. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I want to have my friend Doug has a new Tesla and said, okay, I got the clarity. Uh, the Tesla, I see it. And this thing, huh? But I really want the little red one down there. Okay? <laughs> That's what I want. The cat could ride in it. We're being all like this family. So thank you, everybody. We're going to plug it in. We're going to cut the ribbon. And uh, Josh, let's do it. Awesome. Oh, all right. Here we are. Come on, come on. How many city councilors did it take to cut a ribbon? <laughs> all right. One, two, three.